G'day guys and welcome back to the channel, Mr. Dusty here. This is the Celica, which we all forgot about. I, I forgot about it as well. Uh, time and life kind of got in the way, but today we shall continue with episode three. Now, what we need to do, and well, I've been scared to do this for a whole six months. I'm going to sneeze. Ugh. Ugh. What I've been scared to do the last six months is actually respray this car. Now, my end goal is to just do a rattle can spray job. So. We're gonna go through that process. Now, I know a lot of you guys might be experts at spray painting, so when you watch this video, please don't get triggered because I've just watched a few YouTube videos and I'm ready to go. We're good to go. Welcome back to the channel. So the first step is sanding the car down. I'd recommend getting an orbital sander so it doesn't take five years to do and possibly get a mate. It's very messy, so please use the right safety equipment and do not look at what I was doing in this video. Okay, so um, first of all, make sure you use the right safety gear. I'm using a COVID mask, not exactly the best thing in the world. Um, this is my first time setting a car properly and I've made a few mistakes already. I've gone down to bare metal a bunch of times. Um, just trying to get paint off is sometimes just, like it feels impossible. Like I can barely get off paint in some areas. Um, I'm using 80 grit, so it's pretty rough at the moment. But yeah, it's, it's a hard process. I mean, doing this by hand, it would take a lot more time. Uh, to all the painters out there, do respect you. It's pretty hard work, and I made a mess of myself. Make sure you don't wear nice clothes. I mean, kind of obvious, but yeah. We're gonna keep going and just try and get this car to primer today. One eternity later. I made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> I am covered in red. I sneezed out red. I'm now an Essendon supporter, you could say. Car's looking pretty damn good. So, you know, obviously now we can just give this a huge clean and then do our three coats of the red compound. Now, I'm a bit worried about this because number one, I don't want to get runny lines. If I do that, I can't do much to fix it unless I sand it down again. I really, I'm gonna make sure I tape everything up. I don't want to get red on the windows or yeah, tires, wheels, but I'm really keen to actually start prepping and painting this car. Now I can see! Okay, awesome to be back and welcome. So, as you can see, it is now sanded down and taped down. As you can see, I'm wearing some tradey pink high vis. First of all, thanks to Owen and my girlfriend, Kate, for helping me with this. Can I just say, if you ever want to paint a car, as they always say, preparation is the biggest thing. This has taken me a few solid hard working nights to get it to the best of my abilities. There's still a few things I'm not too happy with that I've tried to make as best as I can. Just some areas I try to tape up and cover up. But I still need to cover the floor, I need to cover my tools. Um, as you guys know, th this is just a shed. I don't have a professional painting booth or anything, so I'm gonna do my best to cover things up. But uh, if you're a professional painter or semi-pro and you do this for kind of like a, as a hobby or for a living, do not judge me because I'm just a teenager trying to make this car look better than it was. Uh, we are using a manual, a, a manual, a manual, ugh, I can't even say it. We're using this paint. It is Super G Porto cans. I, these are like $4.50 a can. It's not the best stuff. It will last quite a long time, I hear, if you do it properly. But this is what we're using. We've got about 12 cans to use. We've got obviously, you know, clear coat. I'm feeling pretty nervous about what's gonna happen. I personally think this is gonna go really badly. Like, I've done everything by the book now, but like, it's a learning experience, guys. This car, like, obviously I want to turn out well, but make a mistake, you know, what can you do? You're, what you're about to witness is going to make most painters very sad. Okay, I'm kind of impressed. Um, one spray can did this much. It did the panel, did that panel, did that one. You can kind of see, um, I've sanded a lot on this panel compared to that one, so that looks really dark. Um, can I be honest with you? I'm, I'm not really sure how this is gonna turn out. Uh, this is the first coat, and you can see like there's so, so many layers that need to be added, like three or four at least. So it's gonna take a bit of time. Uh, by the way, can I just say, I forgot to buy a safety mask, whatever you call it. There is red stuff up my nostrils, so don't do this the way I'm doing it because it's not safe. 
I will buy a mask. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just keep going and see how we go. I should have done that earlier. Can I first of all just say that part three of the Celica build has been an absolute nightmare. It's probably been about four weeks of filming. This car behind me has been an adventure. Now, as you can see, look, it's turned out all right. Okay, there's a few things wrong with it. And there's a few bits I'm just like, okay, I could have done better. But I've spent weeks trying to get this correct. I've learned a lot with painting. It's 1.40 at night, I'm ready to go to bed. Thank you for watching. If that is your part three, leave a like if you've enjoyed it. It's been a long, long part. Take care, have a good one. Adios.